So I've been teasing my new album for about over a year now. If you guys watch my reaction videos, you'll see a little thing in the corner that says uh, album coming soon. And then at the end of my videos, you'll see a placard that says album coming soon. And I, I finally have it coming out this month. So I just want to go into all that. I have songs that I recorded back in the day when I was doing a project in 2008. I was trying to do a video a week for a year and I did that. And that's when I had the Obama Millie song come out that got really, really popular. And so at that time, I started putting out various albums and mixtapes, but I was a solo recorder. I didn't know nothing about nothing. I didn't know anybody. And so some of my stuff wasn't of the best sound quality. My microphone and mixing skills weren't exactly the best. And so fast forward to now where like none of those songs are on streaming. And I have albums that I recorded in like the late 2010s that are on streaming that sound way better than anything I recorded back in the day in terms of sound quality. But I still think many of those songs actually have quality to them. They got a lot of great views on them, a lot of good responses. And people back then were saying like, oh man, we want to get this on streaming. And just, I didn't want to put out my old stuff having it sound so crappy. On top of, admittedly, some of the beats that I rapped on back then, like I got from SoundClick and these other places where I didn't own the full rights to them. And so I didn't want to put stuff up where other creators that made those beats would find me and be like, oh my God, that's my beat that APT Songs is using. I'm going to sue him. I didn't want to deal with any of that. So anyway, fast forward to today. I now have a, a song out that's very popular, which is a parody, of course, of Kendrick Lamar's Not Like Us called Jesus Loves Us. And right now, it's, as of this recording, it's got like 86,000 watches on YouTube. But on TikTok, it's really blown up. Like as of right now, it's at 2 million on one video. And then I posted up some subsequent videos that have also got some great uh, traction to them, as well as a lot of people that have been downloading it listening to it on Spotify, uh, sharing it with their friends all over TikTok, and they've been asking, hey, great, so that song's amazing. When's the album coming out? And I haven't had people request an album from me in forever and a day, because I'm 42 now. When I was in my recording years, for the most part, I was in my early, I, I didn't really stop recording, but I did a heavy amount of recording in my 20s through early 30s, and then, you know, life gets in the way, other stuff happened, and so I wasn't as diligent about recording. I would put out a song here or there, and then the last album I put out was the Black Lives Matter album in 2017, which I put out because I just had a lot to say about stuff as it pertaining to black people and things going on in this country, right? So now we're at 2024, and I got a popular song out. People are asking for an album. I have older songs that I can now update because I have better equipment, and I also know people that can mix and master my stuff to sound really good. Like, Jesus Loves Us already sounds like radio quality because I have people that can now mix and master for me way better than I ever could. And so to that end, that is why I now, after two years of advertising, actually have an album coming out. So the album's going to be called Allow Me to Reintroduce Myself. So yes, that cover artwork you've seen for the last two years, it is the same artwork, it is the same title, Allow Me to Reintroduce Myself. I'm calling it that because it is for people that haven't maybe wanted to know where I went or the fact that I'm basically restarting this stuff anew because honestly, TikTok has been a game changer in terms of artists that want to get stuff out there that maybe aren't as highly well-known or mainstream. I don't consider myself a mainstream because I, I mean, people know me sporadically here and there from these various songs I've done over the years, especially a lot of the parodies. But for people that may have not been acquainted with my stuff or those that haven't heard me in a while, this is a reintroduction to that. So this album is going to mostly have older original material that I've either re-recorded or got polished to sound better mixed in with a few of a more up-to-date songs and a couple of new songs as well. So it'll be very enjoyable for those of you that have been following me forever and a day. You'll notice that some of the beats sound similar but aren't quite the same as some of the original beats because I got them remade so I could, you know, own them. And then for others of you guys, you'll get to hear my, me on the original beats, but it'll be a better sound quality because there are a lot of my songs I recorded back in the day that are my absolute favorites. I love Stop Cock Blocking, What It Happened Was, but when I listen back to those, like just the quality of the microphone was just so grainy. And again, I don't know how to mix and master stuff. I'm an artist. So now that I know people that can do that, all my stuff can sound nice and pristine. So when it's out there on streaming services, you'll be trying to tell your friends, no, but really your stuff's good. Just, just I wish the quality was better. Like I, I want the quality to already be better. And so you're going to get all that. So the album is coming out on Friday, June 28th. 
And so this week, I'm finishing up the last few songs that I want to re-record, and I'm getting them all mixed and mastered so by, by next week, I can do like a week or two long promo for it to come out on the 28th. So either way, guys, you guys can go to TikTok and see my stuff. I'm going to be putting up snippets of some of the newer songs and older songs that have been recorded for this album so you can get a taste and sneak peek of that. And then, yeah, the album will be available for streaming on all platforms on Friday, June 28th. And so for those of you that have been following me since I started this channel back in 2008, I want to thank you because, you know, a lot of channels have died out since then. I've been recording and making videos since 2008. And there have been times where, again, because of life circumstances, I wasn't able to be as present on this particular channel as I, as I, as I wanted to be. And I didn't have a lot of songs coming out because even if I wanted to write or record songs, there were times where I didn't have a place to even record stuff. There were times where I had writer's block. There was a lot of other stuff going on where I had to like figure out how to stay in California. And so all that stuff contributed to me not posting as frequently. And now with the way YouTube set up, it's actually a lot easier. I'm monetized now. So I also make money when you guys watch these videos and share them. So thank you for that. But also just, I have the, I have the creative spark back. You know, I just did an interview with G-Dep who was on Bad Boy back in the day. He went to prison in 2011 for um, previous incidents that he was involved in. And he got out this year and he released his album uh, Influential in March of this year. And it was all recorded in jail over the phone. Yes, the album has like phone quality sound on it. But when I saw, when I heard that album, honestly, I was just so inspired. because so I was just like, man, this guy's in jail recording albums with a phone just because he has the passion to do it. And I'm here now with all this, you know, I got equipment, I got cameras, I got ways to make videos and I'm not even doing it. And it's like, but I have all the means. I just didn't have the gusto. And somehow like listening to that album and, you know, doing that interview really gave me like the boost I needed to get back to recording. Cause I didn't. And so when I did the Jesus loves us, I wasn't expecting that to blow up. Like I put that out because I've been making parody songs forever in a day and not like us was the hot thing out now. And I was walking around one day and just thought of like, Oh, Jesus loves us. That's, that's a funny. And, and the devil is a liar. That's a funny line. So that's what got me to record that song. I wasn't thinking it was going to go big, but that was going to be the start of like me recording more stuff. But now that that's gone big, and people are asking me for an album. It's like, this is the perfect time. So please join me again on June 28th. It is a Friday. That is when my album will be dropping. I'm trying to figure out what other kind of promotional things to do leading up to the album's actual release. But like I said, I would love for you guys to nothing else stream it. Again, it's going to have a catalog of a lot of the songs that you've probably heard over the years on my YouTube channel, as well as some new things and some other fun surprises thrown in there as well. So you can definitely show your support. Again, it's on streaming. So technically it's free if you already have a streaming platform. I, I'll probably also have it for sale somewhere in case you guys want to support me and, and buy the album itself. But either way, it's coming out soon, guys. So for those of you that have been watching for your on end yes that album is finally coming out and so you'll be able to stream it on on friday june 28th so thank you guys for taking the time to watch this be sure to tell all your friends and family that apt songs got an album coming out the jesus loves us slash obama millie remix guy got a new album coming out and it's going to be fire so be sure to do that that's all i got uh, i'm apt songs guys thanks for watching and i'll check y'all later i'm out peace all the girls in the place trying to get in my space